Hi, welcome back. This is Jody, and we are solving some reverse engineering questions from the Hack the Box CTF, Cyber Apocalypse 2021. In the previous one, we solved the passphrase, and now we are going to a little bit more difficult authenticator. It's still in an easy scale. First, as always, we just check how the program works. You run it, says authentication system. Please enter your credentials to continue. Alien ID. Jody. Access denied. Alien ID. Admin. Access denied. And also it says ID. It doesn't say username or something. 10. Access denied. So, first thing probably most of the people in the reverse engineering things do. They will check strings. If you knew it, you are one step ahead of a beginner. Strings, authenticator. I will less so I can see the, all of it. Okay. This is interesting. Looks like a flag, but it's not, it's not a flag. Authentication system, please enter your credentials. These are the normal put character, std in, print f, f get s, str len, std out, and the same thing we saw in the previous one. Also str cmp. And later we have alien id, we have one number here, then we have access denied, then we have pin, access granted, submit pin in the flag format. And what else we have? Nothing important anymore. Again, this is a guessing game. So something might not look important and it is important or whatever. This is the previous flag. So once more, I will copy this. Because especially this is a number. This is lead. So it looks like a good answer to any question and this is alien id so i will keep it running here i will come here say authenticator this is it pin number we don't know the pin root access denied this stage may take 10 minutes one hour one day whatever good for you you can check different things from string, see how it works, do the L trace we did in the previous uh, question and see if we can find what it compares with. Let's do it here. I can do L trace, authenticator. Again, same logic. It's writing something on the screen. Then it's looking for the uh, alien IP. This is 11337. Then it's needs the pin, I will give it the password. And as soon as I give it the password, it doesn't even check the SDRCMP. So the thing we did previously doesn't work here. What should I do? Do you remember? R2. R2, I want to write on it, I want, uh, debug and I will go with authenticator. Show me all the functions we have. This can be one step. You have one main program starts from here. So you will go with S main, seek to the main, start from the main. Then I can go with VV or only one V. Show me the program, how it runs, what it does and Let's zoom here. This shows you the assembly code. As an dis disassembler, will show you what the program is doing. You can do even run it uh, I can zoom here. You can even run the program step by step, every assembly code, and also you can watch the what is going on in your stack and everything. So this is something else that people go to when normal strings, l trace, and this kind of stuff doesn't work. As you remember, it's 
you have to search for the R2. I'm not teaching R2, but it's a little bit like a VI editor. You will go with a colon. Now I can give commands. I will seek to the main. I will go with a V. Will show me the uh, program. If I push P, I will go to the different views of the program. Even there is a fun, uh, funnier view. Let's go there. With Q, I will go with VV. This is what I was talking about. This is the main part. It starts, sometimes it tries to translate some things and show you what is going on. And this is, as you can see, works like a flowchart. It shows you the jumps, where the program goes. So if you follow it, it's very easy to understand this program. It says set buffer, set a buffer, print some string, it will go with authentication system. Another print string, please enter your credentials to continue. Type alien ID. In the beginning, it's difficult. Uh, it's easier to write a very simple program, try to debug it with R2, see how it works. But again, this is not a very difficult one. So you can see that this is the alien ID. Then some keywords are set. Then we call the f get s from our import so we get a string then we call strcmp so this is what it's being tested with 11337 or one lead as you call it if it's true it will jump here and this jump will do the print str write spin f get s call check pin if false here it will go all the way to the end of the program and this is tells you that you are not authenticated and finishes the program so at the moment we are here see we are doing a print str and write the pin let me unzoom this See, we found that up till here. It says pin. If I come here and zoom here, this is why you should learn Tmax. It will show you the pin. It will go set something, read something, then calls a function. See what's happening here. See, if the function returns true, practically, this test will set ZF to the zero. If you know about this, great. If you don't, you can search for assembly test command that see what it does. If the ZF is true, it will jump here. Okay. So if I change this jump equal to jump not equal, this path will continue. Ah, uh, let me describe it again. Sorry if it was confusing. It writes pin. Then it does a get, get uh, f get s read something. Then call a function which is interestingly called sim check pin checks the pin. This function will return back something in a assembly word. It will set zf to zero in some ah this i'm talking about this test in some condition otherwise zf will be one here we have jump if equal jump to this address r2 shows you if this test is true it will jump here and it will tell you access granted if this is false it will jump here this is what is happening for us all the time it says access denied. There are different things. We can go and check this function and see what it does. The easier solution sometimes is just going and changing this. Now this is jump if equal. I can do it jump not equal. So if the password is wrong, it will go here. If the password is true, it will go here. Let's do this. To do this, I have to go to another view. I will go to the normal view here. Where was it? 
access denied this is the f get s as you can see it's dr compare print str we were here so i will go up to here this is called check bin then we had the test then we had jump equal i can do colon i want to write something here i will say w x i want to write something in hex 74 is this jump 75 is jump not equal 74 is jump equal so i will say in a, a byte code opcode or in a hex programming even cooler than assembly i will go with 75 so now this is jump not equal now i can say debug continue run the program try to stop this fix signal debug continue alien id this one we know pin jody see access granted submit <laughs> we bypass that jump but now it says submit your pin in the flag format whatever you inserted for the pin put it here so jody won't work because we really need to know what is the pin jumping over it is not useful the scenario i did was useful if the program was like this sometimes the program is like this it says read something if something is okay if the password is true write the answer and here i could use the answer if false says error logging in if this was the case our solution was okay we changed the jump equal with jump not equal and so we went through this path but in this case it says okay give me the password says if the password is okay okay pass uh, flag is the password you just typed if the password was wrong you are not authorized so i really really need to know about the password but no worries we will find it so again i'm here right i can do you remember we had the afl which showed us the flags one of the flags was sorry functions one of the functions was the interestingly check pin this is it so i can say seek to check pin go to the check pin now show me the program like this for example or easier to read in the beginning i will save it show me the visually how it works it says okay this is the check pin procedure the beginning it's very difficult to read but first we kind of know what it's going to do second after a few uh, sessions and doing it yourself and struggling for two hours you will understand the general idea of these things you don't need to understand them command by command to follow always this here i can easily guess again i have resolved this beforehand it would take longer and everything but here i have one xor okay so it's xoring something with some var1 eh or something and if i go to the other views with p i can go to the other views see this is the general view very small one it's a loop looping on one string and doing something i will go to next view this was the first initialization i had this i had this string and also i have this variable with nine kind of my first guess was x or in this with the value nine and practically this is the answer again this can take much longer you can trace the code with f8 and f7 you can go step by step look at the stack and that's the way you learn but here 
from the experience I was able to say it sets some variable here and one string here then it continues here it just loops over the string with one xor command so most probably it's xoring those two things with each other I will go to the simple view so I can do the better check here in this view it's easier to see the loops I was talking about where is our string if you remember we also saw that in the strings so even here I can save it iz it will show me the strings this was the string I was looking for see I will copy this I will go back to my even I can leave here Q, 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 exit here, write the IPython, sorry, IPython 3. So, my ciphertext, sorry, ciphertext is this. Okay, my key should be nine because that was one the only one variable initializing in the beginning other than this so i will go for c in cipher print as you know chr of ord of c x or it with nine Oh, this is great. And base, no, sorry. And end is nothing. So this should be the, the authentication system is not so secure. So the pin is this. Access granted, submit pin in flag format. We resolved another reversing which was cooler than the previous one you go step by step and learn if you want my suggestion and if you want to compete in the competitions on the reversing go and read about r2 radar 2 like this and also write some simple c programs in linux compile them and try to understand what is going on inside radar 2 if you had time which you should if you want to learn, read about assembly, check the how the functions work, and all these kind of stuff. The more you know, the easier to solve challenges. Hope you enjoyed. I will be glad if you subscribe, tell your friends, viewers. I may earn some money someday, which is far, far away, and also will give me hope and joy. Enjoy. Bye. This was Jadi from Geeking Channel.